welcome back to my channel and happy new year i'm so glad to be back doing content on youtube i really really missed it i did have such a nice break this christmas though if you follow me on instagram you will have known that i spent christmas and new year with my boyfriend over in bali and then i went to melbourne for three days and then i went back to bali for new year it was so much fun and then i did lombok as well i'm gonna write up this huge huge travel guide of the best places to go to bar in bali and things like that so make sure you check out my new blog which i will link below and also follow me on instagram if you haven't already because then you can just keep up to date with everything that i'm doing um so yeah oh my god much needed cup of tea so i'm gonna start with this coat now i know i've got quite a few teddy coats i'm fully aware of this but this one, honestly, is probably one of the closest and cheapest high street versions of the, the Max Mara teddy coat, which costs like, what, two grand? It's really beautiful and it is 50% off at the moment. So the link for that is below. It cost me about 56 pounds in the sale. So yeah, it's so good. I got size medium, just for reference. Just because I like things to be oversized, I think it makes it kind of like have that really super high-end luxury look that the Max Mara teddy coat has because everyone that you see wearing that it is a big coat this really really cool mock crocodile kind of bet i got this in a size eight but it's like actually quite oversized already and it's got this little tie for the waist and it's very very 70s looking i love the color of it i think it's really retro it looks amazing with a pair of really like long length straight jeans now i've also ordered this oversized blazer i got this also in a size eight but it is very 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 oversized oh no it's a size six um but yeah, very oversized, which obviously you know that I love. Also, just a little heads up. Some of these things like I have already opened and some things I haven't. I had a shoot, so I needed to like have a little look at what I had and things like this. So um, anyway, I am loving lilac at the moment. I've got a few lilac things to show you, a couple things. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to send back. But this is from Nasty Gal. It's this really nice roll neck. I like the fact that you can kind of wear it up a little bit more and then you can really roll it down. But what I love most about it is the sleeves. They are so cool. They're so epic. They're really, really awesome. The knit is also super soft. You know how I feel about knitwear that is scratchy and itchy and uncomfortable. I'm quite sensitive, so I always get like an itchy neck and I can't stand it and I'm like, rah, and it just makes me really miserable and I just wanna go home. So I will never, ever, ever shout about knitwear that is gonna make you feel. In keeping with this kind of vibe, I've got this really, really, really oversized, similar kind of vibe jumper kind of more like jumper dress once again i am doing a lot of travel over the next few years a lot of long-haul travel i'm going to sri lanka at the end of the month and then i'm going to new zealand to where my boyfriend's from in march so i kind of really wanted to have some like really nice snuggly things to wear in the plane things that you can just chuck on really nice like sort of like loungy bit so this jacket i saw on the model and i was like i really love it i think it looks really cool like kind of like an oversized leathery blazer looks like a bin bag when i'm holding it up right now but actually on wearing it i it feels pretty cheap okay and with it being spring around the corner kind of not really but it's nice to be able to wear sort of spring shades now so i actually really like i'm liking lilacs and pinks and baby blues and sage greens so i thought this shirt would actually look really 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 cool tucked in with a pair of jeans or worn open with a little bit of a tank top with a pair of like sort of slightly baggier jeans very very 90s i feel but I'm actually really here for it. And I'm thinking maybe a bucket hat. I don't know. All right, let me show you what I've got from Topshop. So obviously Topshop is one of my fave, 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 fave brands. And I picked out this, which I think I might struggle to wear because it's not really warm enough for it yet. And I got it in a size eight. I might exchange this for a size 10 so that I can definitely fit a jumper underneath. But I just had so many nice visions of wearing this with a really nice hat and like really, really like cozy jumper and some cool trousers and some big like chunky Doc Martin boots. I just thought it looked super, super cool. So I'm gonna have a go with it, see how I feel, see how I can wear it. And then if not, I'll just gonna send it back. Okay, basics, basic basics. So I have got this t-shirt in this really nice kind of grey colour. Like I love band t-shirts, I always wear them and they're always in this kind of colour. 
So, um, yeah, it's just a plain one. So it's quite nice to kind of do that kind of thing. I also bought this t-shirt in white. It comes in loads of different colours. It's a really, really lovely fit. The fabric isn't too thick. So, like, you might want to maybe wear a bra with it. Because your nipple's going to be maybe showing a little bit through it. But, um, especially with the white one. With this one, you'll probably be okay. But, uh, yeah, I just, I love Topshop's Basics. I always, always, always buy their t-shirts. And they do tend to last me really well. The only real reason why I ever have to get rid of them is I've just worn them too much and I have stained them with fake tan and things like that. Okay, so I've got some things from And Other Stories now. So this is a really nice cardigan. I got what size did I get this in in the end? I got it in a size small, really, really lovely. Very, very nice with a pair of jeans, loads of layered gold jewelry and like a little brother underneath. So if you're just kind of like working from home or going out for drinks with your friends, it's just quite a nice little like look. Then we have this blazer because you know I love blazers and, and other stories ones are the best. It came to my attention, I don't have a grey one and this one is really, really boxy and oversized. I think, what size did I get this in? I got it in a size 36 which I think is a UK 10. I kind of wish I got an a UK 8 now because I have got very narrow shoulders anyway but I do love the whole oversized blazer thing anyway so I'm sure I can make it work. Now this coat I'm really quite undecided on it. I think it's lovely but it did seem a bit paler on the picture that I saw on the website so I'm a little bit like I'm not sure what to do with you, do I keep you, do I not? So I'm just trying to kind of figure it out what I'm going to do with it at the minute. So I've also got this jumper. Which I don't, I, I'm really, I, was, I was gonna say I've ordered two lilac jumpers. I'm gonna keep one of them. I don't think it's gonna be this one because this feels like quite itchy. Oh, so annoying because it looks so good. Wouldn't it actually? Yeah, no, 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 that's a baby that is prickling me. Yeah, um, beautiful jumper. I'm going to try it on anyway and show you guys. But um, I'm not likely to keep this bad boy because it just feels so goddamn itchy. Um, yeah, so that's a bloody shame. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys very soon.